when I, s I look at this picture, what I see, it's uh, a perfect place. There's a great beach. The frame is perfect. There is nobody in here. And everyone loves it. Actually, I don't. I wouldn't use this image, not even for my, the screensaver of my laptop. Indeed, I love Google Street View. That's great. When, when it became true in 2007, 2008, I couldn't trust my eyes. And uh, the idea of just wandering around the world, going in a blink of an eye from New York City to Rio de Janeiro or to Moscow, it's been just fantastic. Uh, I, I, I risked to lose my job because I was spending hours and hours and hours traveling around the world, you know what I mean? And uh, at some point, I asked myself, um, what if Google goes out of pit roads? I want to see street views in natural places, hiking trails, deserts, natural parks, places like this. It was 2011 and I couldn't see anything similar in that place and on the internet. So I decided, okay, let's try if we can make it, bring Google Street View outside of these places. And so I asked a friend of mine uh, who was a nerd just like me, and uh, we started studying what Google did with the Google cars. These cars with uh, this sort of strange thing taking pictures, 360 de degrees pictures with uh, a GPS on it. An idea was to bring this car right on my back and transform it into a sort of backpack. Uh, the problem was not so easy because it had to be light, last for long, take a lot, a lot of high resolution pictures. We worked for a few months and after some tries, we built this backpack. This is the fourth prototype. We, it, it, a lot of work to make it work properly. It took years. And with this backpack, we decided to go around and map fantastic hiking trails. We've been traveling around the world for years. United States, um, Australia, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Malaysia, um, Italy, of course, many, many places. And uh, the aim, and this was the, we gave birth to a project called uh, Trail Me Up. If you go on a website and digit filmmeup.com, you can make just some hikes around the world, uh, virtual hikes. Well, our focus and our goal is to map the entire world, but we're five. So how are we gonna make it? No way, we have to ask people. So we decided to start a recruitment campaign on our website uh, through which anybody willing to apply can write us and tell us that he wants to become a volunteer. We send volunteers a backpack, they go up on hikes, hiking, 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 they send us uh, the backpacks with all the pictures, and we publish everything into our website. Uh, why do they do that? Uh, yeah, we pay them a lot of money. No, we give them a t-shirt, you know? It's incredible, the power of a t-shirt <laughs> when you give people the opportunity to be part of a, of a very big, big, big project like mapping all the street views in the world. And uh, this is what we got. This is New Zealand, for example. It's just like a street view. You can move back and forth, turn in every direction, and get information about those places. We talk about everything, geology, literature, anthropology, archeology, span whatever. Because, you know, contents are very, very important when you are just traveling, knowing information, helps you to enjoy those places the most. Okay, so why do I say that a street view is much, much, by far much better than a framed picture? It's a concept bound to the idea of travel uh, itself. Uh, someone calls it the difference between a traveler and a tourist, but Fuck that, I, I don't really care about those differences um, among the two. Uh, it's about, it's not a competition. 
It's not a social contest. You know, I am a traveler, you're a tourist. It just makes no sense. It's about attitude. And um, so let's start from dreaming. You know, dreaming are cool and are important even when you have to travel. But at a certain extent, it can become somehow dangerous because dreams can form your mind into some, into, in some way. It creates patterns, uh, structures, and from patterns, you can arrive to prejudices. And the prejudice, prejudices are, are very, very dangerous while traveling because they don't give you the opportunity to see reality as it is. When you have a prejudice, you can have two reactions. The first one is disappointment because you go to a place, you expect something, you don't find it, and then you feel bad. The second part is incompleteness, because if you're looking just for one thing, you just look at that and you miss all the rest. And all the time, the rest is the best part. So um, sometimes while traveling, I used to meet people going, for example, to Africa, and they were looking for the real Africa. And to them, real Africa is half-naked people living in tents, uh, eating bananas, and it's not that real Africa. And if they go there looking for that, for sure they miss the real Africa, which is just common guys just like we are, uh, wearing Manchester United t-shirt and always staying in touch with their cell phones. That's real Africa. And uh, if I'm going there, I am enjoying that reality because I try not to go there with a prejudice. So the secret is to keep things real. So forget all the expectations and do not try to uh, look for something that confirm your first ideas. You just have to uh, get stuck to reality and uh, absorb what is around you in the surroundings. And this is very bound to a concept of simplicity because uh, simplicity in this, to this extent, is the best way to experience your travels. No infrastructures, you, you just get and absorb what you're given. And uh, this is why I think that street views are a, a, a fantastic way to train for, for, the, for the right approach to traveling. And I conclude telling you this, probably a few of you were expecting from me to talk about the Foo Fighters. I'm sure about this, you know? But, and probably some of you uh, were disappointed by me talking about travels, and this proves that I was right. <laughs> Thank you very much.